Hi, so here we are, our last set of um, openers rebids. The auctions that we're looking at are hands 13, 14, 15, and 16. So I hope that you downloaded the things that you needed to download. Um, the first auction was that North bid one club, South bid one heart, and North bid two clubs. So this was the south hand, in case you didn't do that earlier, right? So one club and then a rebid of two clubs after a one heart bid by south. So the thing, what do we know about opener's hand? We know that opener does not have uh, four hearts because if they had four hearts, they would have raised hearts. We know that they have 12 to 15 points because they rebid their club suit. And we, excuse me, they rebid their club suit at the minimum level. And we know they have at least five clubs and almost always six in this auction. It's almost impossible for them not to have six clubs in this auction. And that they're unbalanced. Now, the other thing that we know that you might not have thought about is, is that they don't hold four spades. We know they don't hold four spades because if they held four spades, what would they have done? Over one heart, when they did not have a heart fit, they would have bid one spade. So looking at this south hand, sometimes what people think is, I really need to bid my spades. I've told partner I had hearts, but he doesn't know I have spades. I need to let him know that I have four spades. Well, you know, that's some validity. You want to talk about your majors if you can, but guess what? Partner doesn't have four spades. So the fact that you have four spades isn't an important part of the, of the information to give him. Having a spade fit's not possible. We're going to be playing no trump. So then you look and you say, do I have more hearts than I told partner about the first time? And we don't. We have four. Then the next question is, am I balanced? Well, I am. I'm four, four, three, and two. I'm balanced. So no trump is looks good for me. I think we should be playing no trump. Partner has clubs. I have spades. I have hearts. And I have a diamond stopper. And now your points. I have 13 points, and partner promised 12 points when they opened. So my bid would be three no trump. She, who knows, goes. I know we have enough for game. I know we don't have a fit in a major. Let's try playing no trump. So three no trump would be my choice on that one. Did y'all get that? I hope so. Uh, 14. This time, the auction went one heart by North and then two clubs uh, rebid. That was after a one spade bid by South. So in this hand, partner has told me that they have at least five hearts, at least four clubs. They do not have four spades, and they have 12 to 17 points. Did y'all get all of those? I hope so. I have to decide what to do. My points, I only have 10, but partners 12 to 17. So if partners at the top of that range that they might have, even though I don't have to bid, I'd like to bid because we might have enough for gain. If I rebid my spades, if I bid two spades, I'm not showing my value. If I bid three spades, I'm showing too many spades. That's usually six spades, right? So what do I do? Well, what you do is, is you raise clubs. You raise two clubs to three clubs. The fact that you raise says it's still possible for us to have game. I know that you only have 12 to 17. I know I don't have to bid, but I'm choosing to bid. And the fact that I raise clubs says my hand's not really a hand that looks like no trump is where we should play. Because I have that singleton, right? So by bidding three clubs, I get across that we have a club fit that I'm unbalanced, and that I have the values for game if partners at the top of their bid, 16, 17 points. So on this one, I'd bid three clubs. All right, here we go, another one. Number 15, 
on 15. Woohoo! I wish I had that hand in real life very often. I have, what, 17 high card points. Partner opens a heart. I bid a spade. Partner bids two spades. So I know that partner has at least five hearts, at least four spades, and 12 to around 15 points. I have 17. I think that this hand's too good just to jump to four spades. It's true you have, know you have enough for game, but bidding, jumping to game, it says kind of like, okay, let's play game. We're fine. That's as high as I ever want to go. And you have a hand that if partner has the right hand, the perfect hand, or close to perfect hand, you might be able to make slam. You might be able to take 12 tricks. Once you and partner have bid and raised a major suit, then the agreement between you is, is that we know that this major suit is going to be trumps. So therefore, any other bid other than passing or bidding your major again or jumping the game in your major kind of says, hey, partner, I think maybe we could go higher. Now, partner sometimes doesn't know if you're thinking we can go higher to game or if you're thinking we can go higher to slam. But you can start by just making bidding a new suit, any suit, clubs or diamonds. And it's kind of says to partner, I'm thinking there's more I want to know. There's more things that I could tell you about. Usually, when it's gone one spade, two spades, one heart, two hearts, bidding that new suit is a try for game. And that's what partner's going to think. But it's a start. You can gradually start telling partner, I have more value. I'm interested in something else. Tell me some more, partner. Talk to me. Talk to me. Tell me something. So on that one... I would bid three clubs. And our last one. Here we go. On this one, partner opened a diamond. I bid a spade. And partner bid a no trump. Opener rebid one no trump. So the one no trump bid, what did it say? I'm 12 to 14 points. We know it's not 15 because they're balanced. And if they're balanced, it did not have a five-card major. With 15 to 17, they would have opened a no trump. So this is 12 to 14, and they don't hold four spades. They could have four hearts. Why could they have four hearts? Because over one spade, if opener had rebid a new suit, an unbid suit, higher in rank than the suit he opened at the two level, that would have been that reverse bid, right? Strong and unbalanced. So if he's only 12 to 14 points, he can't bid two hearts if he has four hearts. He's be showing too big a hand, too strong a hand. So on this hand, what I would do is I would bid two hearts. I would say partner, I have four hearts. And guess what? Partner's going to know when you bid two hearts that you have five spades. So how, why? Why would he know that? Well, if you're a responder and your partner opens a diamond and you have four hearts and four spades, what do you bid? You bid a heart, right? Four on the floor. Lowest in rank first. You'd go up that ladder, but you didn't bid a heart. You bid a spade, and now you're coming back and telling, oh, by the way, I had four hearts. Because you did not bid one heart over one diamond, you chose to bid a spade, and are now coming back to hearts, then opener is going to know that you had five spades and four hearts. I still want to search for that major fit. Now, this hand actually brings up kind of a, a thing that people have, a question that people have. Well, you told me a new suit by responder is forcing. I don't have a hand that wants to force. Well, what we've done in Bridge is we've made some, oh, I don't know, interesting conventions. 
And we've developed ways to let partner know when I have a hand that just wants to play at the two level, or I have a hand that it does have a good hand and wants to bid on. Those are conventional bids that, you know, we're not going to talk about those yet. Might talk about some of them, start talking about some of them next week, but we don't want to talk about them today. Certainly not this one. Most people would play that two hearts is non-forcing. That that's the only exception to a new suit by responder being non-forcing. Now, personally, I just tell people it's forcing. You just have to bid. But it doesn't promise a great big hand. It could be a tiny hand. Um, because what's going to happen? If you keep on playing bridge and you keep on learning, you're going to learn ways to differentiate those two bids. So, um, to me, it's much harder to try and remember this one bid. You know, all the other bids Responder makes, those are forcing, but except this one. Then it is just to, okay, it's forcing. If opener has your hearts, they're going to raise. They're going to raise to three. And if they don't have four hearts, they're probably going to go back to two spades because you've shown an unbalanced hand, at least five spades, at least four hearts. You might get into trouble. You might get too high. Huh? But the only solution to that is now having to remember this one auction that's not forcing and to remember in this particular auction, if partner skips a level of bidding, instead of bidding two hearts, bids three, it means something else. Let's not do that. <laughs> I'm in the minority, but I like to kind of keep things really simple when you first start out. Just, you know, some things that you can kind of take home to the bank. You're going to enjoy bridge. You're going to learn bridge. And the more you learn, the more different things you're going to learn. And it's not going to be too long before you're going to learn a bid to handle these types of hands. So, um, no, I can't wait for the emails I'll get about this video. But that's the way it goes. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a good weekend. I've got some plans this weekend, so I won't be uh, filming, but I'll be back on Monday. Maybe we'll do um, overcalls. That would be nice. I'll see y'all then.